Hello, this is Jesse Prospect, and I am reporting to you with the Numa Network at the Wizard World Convention Center 2012, and we are here with Lou Ferrigno. Hi, Lou. How are you? I'm very, very well. Blue is a great color on you, by the way. It's okay. You can come close. I won't bite you. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so I just wanted a couple questions I'm sure everybody asks you, but what are some of the things that actually got you interested in being an actor? Well, I did the movie called, the, the docudrama called Pumping Iron. Your favorite governor, Arnold Schwarzenegger. I like being in front of the camera and then, you know, performing. I decided that when I went to California, I was training for competition, that they called me for audition for The Hope, The Incredible Hope. And then when I got the part, I liked being in front of the camera and I decided to pursue a career in acting. Nice. So it's one of those things that when it happened, you just kind of felt like that's where you belonged and everything sort of made sense. That's really cool. So did you realize how big of a deal that was going to be when it happened? Well, I knew that I was going to be on uh, TV for a while, but I didn't expect they were going to go this far because I was able to take that little hope and done over 40 feature films and other things I've done in my life to magnify the situation and generate it from that. So, you know, also be involved in the fitness world, bodybuilding. I came back in my 40s to compete again to be a world bodybuilding champion again. So that plus acting kept me the legacy going on for 40 years. That's very cool. And so when you find your passion, it just like, every, like you said, everything in the world makes sense. The way everything has spiraled, it's obviously spiraled in a really good way for you. Um, so the Avengers, how did that go? Did you expect everything to be the way the way it is? I, I'm surprised that the I expect the Avengers to make a lot of money, but I'm very surprised that it's, it's, it's almost as much as the Titanic now. It's up to 1.5 billion. I, I, I'm glad I did the voice, but they're working on doing a TV series. I'll be involved with the next one. Nice, nice, nice. The Apprentice, how was that? That was a lot of fun, a lot of backstabbing, and uh, I had a good time. The women were very catty. Yeah. So, uh, Makes for good TV. A good way to get humiliated. So I had a lot of fun, and uh, it was a great experience. I'll do it again in a second. Nice. I just have to say that you have a very, very good personality, and a friend of mine had once said um, a lot of things about the things about being famous is it's not so much that you're famous, it's just that your opinions get heard. And I think that you are a perfect example of somebody that's great in the position that you're in. Well, so thank you. I wanted to thank you for everything you're doing, and it was great to talk thank to you. you. Enjoy the show. Me too. Okay. Thanks.